Ever wondered how waves are made? It's less about nature's might and more about the interaction between wind and water. We're about to dive into this alluring process. Let's find out how. To begin with, comprehend that waves are nothing more than energy in transit through water. Imagine energy like a whisper circulating among a group of friends. This energy courses through the water, leading it to ascend and descend in a rhythmic sequence. Take note, it's not the water that is relocating, but the energy that's in transit. The energy sparks to life with the wind. As it gusts across the water's surface, the wind initiates friction, acting as the conduit to shift the energy from one medium to another. The size of waves largely depends on the strength of the wind the duration for which it blows, and the extensive area it encompasses. A mild wind gust over a compact pond may lead to the formation of minuscule ripples, whereas a powerful gale sweeping across the boundless ocean for a few days can result in the creation of colossal waves. The depth of the ocean and the shape of the sea floor aren't just trivial matters, they too affect the formation of waves. Once waves journey to the shore, Encountering the shallows, they begin to break, and that's when we see the magnificent spectacle of breaking waves. Under the surface, water particles move circular paths. This movement facilitates the transfer of wave energy, with each particle passing it onto the next one. It is an intricate dance of energy transmission beneath the water's surface. So, waves are the end product of a fascinating dance between wind and water. It all starts with the wind, which transfers energy to the water surface. The water then takes this energy and begins to move in rhythmic patterns. The final size and power of the waves are dependent on the strength and duration of the wind, as well as the distance over which it travels. Once the wave is formed, the depth of the water and the shape of the seafloor play their part in shaping it as it reaches the shore. Next time you witness waves crashing onto the shore or creating ripples across a serene lake, bear in mind that it's all about the captivating journey of energy transitioning from wind to water.